Hello everyone. Title of this video is I'll take Damascus failures for 1000 Alex. Uh, that's the actual title of this video. It's official. So in this video, I am going to try and make a knife from this billet of Damascus made from gears. You can see here, I made it in a previous video. So this is going to be the knife attempt out of this. So strap in. Okay, so I want to have this cutting edge laminated. I want to have a mono steel edge. And I want actually either side of this build, the top and the bottom of the knife, to have a mono steel. So I used 1095 and 15 and 20. You can see me cleaning them here. I'm cleaning the billet that's already made, the Damascus uh, from Gears. And I'm going to uh, use some autogenous welding with a TIG welder to fuse those to the what is going to be the cutting edge. So I've cleaned them thoroughly. They're ground to a mirror finish. And I'm going to run uh, just some DC current here. I'm running at 150 amps. Uh, run an argon. And so here I am uh, fabricating these, uh, or getting these laminations uh, welded with autogenous welds. So I'm just fusing them here. So I don't want any weld inclusion. I don't want any filler metal metal getting uh, in there. It'll ruin the edge. So here's what it looks like after I have fused that edge steel. Now I went ahead and fused one to the top of this billet as well, just with using TIG welding, uh, fusion welding, making sure that's sealed all the way around, no oxygen can get in. So I have both of those ends, uh, top and bottom laminated with that. And here it is. This is my first uh, one of my first presses on here. Um, I got my temp uh, dialed in on this. And <clears throat> there's a subsequent problem with some of the fusion here. You'll see in the video. And I think I'm not quite sure where it came from. We'll, we'll get to that later. But here it is. So I'm drawing this out. Uh, and I got good uh, uh, fusion on these uh, mono steels on the mono steel uh, top and bottom. That fused uh, very well, and I had no evidence of any type of cold shuts or delamination. So I had that my temps right, and I drew that out, and uh, I think I took three heats to draw that out. And so you'll see here, uh, this is the final heat on drawing this billet out. So I'm trying to get it into about net shape of what the knife's going to be, because I'm going to take a slice off of this thing, and then I'm going to use it for... Uh, to 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 manually forge and draw out it and make a knife shape out of it. So, and I want the gears to kind of kind of morph with the blade. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of uh, stock reduct or stock removal. I'm going to be doing. I'm going to forge the tip kind of to shape. So this is after uh, laminating it. So you can see and everything looks fine here. And this is a little bit of a quandary, but this came out perfect. You can see the top and the bottom here, how I've laminated the steel, right? I And I drew them out, and everything's great. You can see the, the, the top and the bottom. So the cutting edge will be a single piece of uh, 15N or uh, 1095. And then that, so it's bordered. It's like a picture frame almost, right? So everything looks fused. Everything looks perfect. So I'm not quite sure what, what, what happened, but... So after this is done, I got this uh, all uh, etched and everything looks great. And I've gone over it to make sure there's no cold shuts or delaminations. Everything looks good. I'm going to take a slice off of this. So <clears throat> I'm going to take a slice off of this in my bandsaw. And this actually destroyed my bandsaw blade making this cut. The, bland, the bandsaw blade was toast by the end of this cut. So these gears are very hard material. So... But anyway, I took a slice off of this. Now I'm just going to, I welded a handle on this and I'm I'm forming the tip. And I actually kind of drew it down so I pinched some waste off of that tip. And that was a that's a guarantee on your blade edge, uh, on your tip, that uh, you won't have a cold shut from, sometimes when you, when you uh, bring metal to a tip uh, from a flat edge, it will have some little, uh, like little ripples in it and it'll have some little uh, you know some striations but I find that if I draw that tip and kind of pinch it shut and then cut off the end of the material I have a solid uh, 
I have a good t I have a, the, the tip is forged properly. Now I I drew a little bit of a tang on this, just a little bit on. I didn't want to lose too much of this Damascus uh, gear material I made, so I just drew down the backside a little bit. Now here's uh, just a little bit of shaping I have done on this and the t and the back. Now I welded, I TIG welded, and a little extension on the back that uh, you'll see here. It's longer, so I've cleaned this up. I've uh, finished ground it down to about a little under a quarter of an inch thick. Okay, I, and I'm getting ready to heat treat this. Now this is getting close. I, I didn't do all the finished grinding because I, I wanted to try and... This was very hard. Uh, this was to almost 60 uh, Rockwell after I, I quenched it. And now it was like 59, I think, according to some of my test files. So I didn't want to do a lot of grinding of hardened material, so I do a little edge bevel. I make sure my shape, and I make sure I'm, I'm a little oversized, but I'm, I'm trying to get close here so I don't have to grind a lot of hardened steel. Okay, so I, I think uh, here this is what it looks like with the tang welded on, uh, and then uh, and kind of a, a, a rough grind getting close. Uh, and so now I've, I'm, I'm going to quench in canola oil. I have this canola oil preheated to about 120 degrees. Um, I have it. And so you can't see this. It's, it's not in the frame. I have an a, 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 a infrared ther thermometer which reads temperatures up to 2,500 degrees. So I'm checking. Right now I, I had it soaking at about 1575 just under 1600 degrees I had it soaked for about five minutes I actually did some thermocycling before this and I don't show it on the in the video but you could call it a grain refining cycles is what you could call it but you heat it up to a certain temperature let it cool slow heat it up to a certain temperature let it cool slow but but I quenched at 1575 and so this is what it looks like after heat treat you can see some of the pattern now I cleaned up all the uh, scale and oxide from the heat treat and I ground, I took it to 400 and so I'm doing some more edge shaping and I, I did put a, a, a pretty good edge on this uh, I hadn't even fully sharpened it yet, it was actually pretty sharp uh, I had to be careful handling it but here is the etch now it came out beautiful guys but I have those, you can see there's some inclusion, something bled through or something, I don't know why, when, when I did my tile stack on this, I did not quite get it. You can see the first union where the tiles welded, the blocks was fine, that back one right there. I just, something, and so I, I just was too thick, thin at this point. And there's some little, there's some inclusions or some type of porosity. I think it happened when I heat treated it. And I was like heartbroken when I saw this. It's absolutely heartbroken. Uh, everything was coming out so good. And so I still might finish this knife. I just wanted to show you guys. Now I have plenty of this material left. I think I might uh, try another section out of this. I think this little DLAM or this cold shut or whatever occurred there was just on that outer edge. Uh, but I'm not quite sure on that and one of uh, my commenters uh, had a different uh, idea instead of doing a restack and retile I just get all the gears aligned in, in, a, in a canister and I, I pr that's close to net shape so I don't have to cut and restack and then I have the gears oriented a certain way but let me know what you guys think on this I was getting ready to toss it in the trash it just was uh, it was so frustrating, but uh, I wanted to show you guys, you know, I'm going to do another one, and so it comes out properly, but this is, this is how it ended up. Really appreciate you guys watching this. Thank you.